Time now for your forewarn weather with Cedric Haynes. Well, happy Wednesday, Utah. Let's get you out the door. Look at these temperatures this morning on the warm side. Our friends in Logan sitting at 70 degrees this morning. You know it's warm across the state. 76 in Salt Lake City. It's 76 in St. George. We've got 57 comfortable degrees. Good morning to you in Price. 59 in Vernal. 59 in Milford. And 61 degrees for our friends in Blanding as we kick off the day. All right, let's get you to the weather map because changes are underway. High pressure, of course, we've been bringing that monsoonal flow. That's what brought us some of those scattered showers and rumbles first across central sections of the state during the afternoon hours, then across the north and northeast as we went throughout the overnight hours. But that's beginning to move away as we get these strong southwesterly winds beginning to start to round themselves up a little bit, and they're going to start to move our way as we go into the rest of today. So that will dry us out and bring in those gusty winds across the area. But all eyes on our next storm system. Yeah, it's this area of low pressure moving inland now. You can see bringing some heavy rain towards uh, the west coast. They've had well above normal temperatures there all week. Now they're beginning to get ready to tap into some of that fall cool-like air that's moving our way. And yes, it will move our way as well. So let's time it all out for you with Futurecast. Strong southwesterly winds are going to be the name of the game as we go throughout your Wednesday. Could see an isolated shower get percolating here over the highest uh, mountaintops here as we get into the Uintas stretching in the southwest Wyoming this afternoon, but most of the Beehive State will be dry as we go throughout the day. As this cold front moves on through, it's all about the winds ahead of the front and right behind the front. Could see a couple of showers, though, across the northern half of the state. But again, the bigger story will be the wind and the cooler air that will start to filter in. Let's talk about those rain chances Thursday morning as that front moves through. Primarily north of I-80 is going to be your best chance of a few scattered showers. So Park Valley over towards Ogden, Farmington, up towards Logan and Evans. As you get farther south, especially south of Salt Lake City, the chance of rain really disappears. So you got to be pretty much north of I-80 to get rain as that front moves through. Everyone, though, is going to see a thick plume of smoke moving in as we go throughout this afternoon across the Beehive State. Thanks to those very gusty southwest winds, we're talking smoke, we're talking haze, we're talking dust getting blown up. Oh, yeah, it's going to be one of those type of days where the air quality not great across the Beehive State, nor the visibility. Along with that wind, they're going to in a lot of dry air off the desert. So notice in the red, that's a critical fire threat here. And these fires that start could spread rapidly. We don't want to see that, but we do have red flag warnings in effect for areas along and west of I-15 from northern Utah down through central and southwest Utah. And then we have red flag warnings for your Thursday morning in effect for southeastern portions of Utah as well. As that front moves through, we're going to be seeing that much cooler air building in for us as we wrap up the work week. And then we'll see a moderating trend as we head into to the weekend before, yes, more fall-like cool air arrives as we head towards next week. St. George, 99 degrees, sunshine, haze, wrapping up the week with low 90s and sunshine for the weekend. Along the Wasatch Front, we're talking windy conditions, that smoke and haze getting pulled up this afternoon. Isolated storms on Thursday with that front, highs near 70, but overall looking pretty nice for the weekend with temperatures in the 80s.